What's up guys, it's your boys, and we'll keep back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Nukes Top 5. The man, the myth, the legend that pretty much put paranormal scary compilations on the map. We're going to be watching his top 20 scary ghost videos of the year, since the end of the year is not too close, or not too, uh, too far off, and we're going to be watching these. So, with that being said, grab a chair, grab some popcorn. Also, what I wanted to make sure you guys, let you guys know... Merry Christmas. I know it's Christmas Eve, but I want to say Merry Christmas to those that uh, will not get a chance to watch this or whatever have you because they're spending time with their friends, their family, and so forth like that. So I do appreciate every single one of you. My greatest gift um, this year is all of you guys, and I can't thank you guys enough. You guys have made this Christmas a fantastic one, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. But with that being said, let's get into today's video. Grab a chair, grab some popcorn, your extra pair of pants, a cozy blanket, a cozy spot, and let's get into it. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys slap that subscribe button by hitting the white bar icon next to it as well. Don't forget to uh, comment your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to share as well because all of those things make the channel grow even more and lets other people know to come on in here. It's fun to have, enjoyable, and so forth like that. We're trying to get to 50k. We're not going to get to 50k by Christmas, which is okay, but we've continuously been booming by the numbers, but I'd love to give a uh, MetaQuest 3 virtual reality headset to one of you guys for free here very soon. And then when we get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away two, no, two, not four, two more of those uh, virtual reality headsets, and we have to get to 100 first to do that. So make sure you guys subscribe, comment, like, and share. Also, make sure you guys go over to Nukes Top 5, give him some love, subscribe, comment, like, and share. I've been watching this man for like six years now and i've never gotten bored so go over to his channel watch his old stuff watch his new stuff give him the love that he deserves for putting this together for us to enjoy and get scared lose ourselves in terror it can take a lot of work a lot of effort we want to give thanks back to him but without further ado get comfy because this is an hour long of the top 20 scary ghost videos of the year let's take a look the scariest ghost videos of the year yes TikTok user Jose Castillo and his friends often mountain bike after work on some wooded trails near the city of Oaxaca, Mexico. Oaxaca! One evening after dark, Jose and his friends go out on a trail that they've taken many times before. I don't think at nighttime, though. This time, things take a terrifying turn. Oh, boy, no. Jose's GoPro camera is recording when something happens that still gives him chills to this day. What? Did you see it? Something that was fast. Something appears out of nowhere, and Jose barely manages to swerve Woo! around it. I haven't Swerving seen that one yet. Lost, the figure appears to be cloaked, wearing a veil that's translucent enough that you can see what looks like a face. Ugh. A very disturbing face. Many viewers of Jose's TikTok my heart that captured the infamous weeping woman, La Llorona. A vengeful spirit of Mexican lore Screaming. that mourns the loss of her children. I watched that movie. But what do you think this is? I know, but it gave me a heart murmur. TikTok user Brianna's videos are mostly dedicated to her favorite pastime, free diving in the beautiful waters just off the coast of sunny Florida. Now, none of Brianna's videos have anything to do with the supernatural. Well, except for just this one. One afternoon, Brianna is going for a routine dive when she captures something truly chilling. It sounds like the girl is screaming underwater. And she doesn't hear it. Oh, I would get claustrophobia. Yeah, starts to panic as she hears loud, distressed underwater screams oh, she hears it? all around her. After she surfaces and disturbed by what she just heard, she goes down again to try to figure out just what is going on. So that's a ship? Oh, the second time, nothing. This time, 
there are no screams. Brianna is baffled by what just happened and posts her strange unexplained video to TikTok. Now, of course, many viewers accuse Brianna of adding a fake audio track to her dive video. Of course so. So, to prove them wrong, Brianna posts again, this time showing the footage directly from her GoPro camera. So, people are asking what camera I use. GoPro 7 works perfectly fine for me. I cracked it a little bit, but I use the case. Um, definitely not a voiceover though, so I'm gonna show you the video straight out of my GoPro. Just like, how I recorded it. from the GoPro and that's not edited. I thought about getting a GoPro. So, it's not a voiceover or an edit or anything like that. So, so it's legit. Now, paranormal or not, the strange underwater screams are absolutely unnerving. 12 years ago, a band in Veracruz, Mexico was playing their final gig as one of their members was about to move to another town. This is that face that's at the just time, like... they didn't notice anything unusual about the event at all. But like, later, I, as I the guys rewatched the video of their performance, they noticed something that chills them to their core. It's behind the TV. It's like... Oh, it gives me chills. For this one, there's probably no reason to ask, but did you see it? Did you see it? It's Looking like behind the TV in the right corner, a ghastly looking girl with what seems to be a pale and distorted face seems to be peeking out at the van. And there's no room back there. The weirder is that if we cut to different segments of the video, the strange pale girl has disappeared. The guys in the band believe that this bizarre figure might be the ghost of a friend of theirs who took her own life years earlier, perhaps dropping in for one last goodbye at the band's final Yeah, doing this. <laughs> it's so creepy. Caught live on camera. This next creepy clip was sent in by John Robinson, who goes by the streamer name J-Rob. Now, John frequently goes live on YouTube with his friends to talk sports and debate. I think this is the one that I scared computers. me. But during one of these late night live streams, something happens that shocks them all to their core. Sorry, I think I need yeah, to the guys on the couch people and a couple of more pieces. I do like RJ Barrett, but I don't know. It might be time for him to go as well. You they said know. it was somebody in the I, glitched I camera. Good off of those people. Was that a ghost? I just personally. Oh, yo, Junebug, chill out. Yo, that wasn't even a person. Junebug, chill out. Bro, I ain't got time for this. Yo, did we catch a ghost on stream? Bro, stop. No, stop. He it. said he was the only one home. Hey, hey, hey. hey I, I didn't yeah, see it. I, I didn't see lights. anything, man. I was looking. Bro, I'm going to turn on the lights. Stop playing, bro. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at it. I'm going to go look, look at it right now. Because it's. Bro. What? What? Junebug, what happened? That what? was not a person, bro. This, bro, chill out. What are y'all talking no about? Way. He's chill like, out. I can't, I can't be here. I need to go. I ain't with this. Bro, go no watch it for you. Run it back. Somebody watch. Run back the clip, please. Somebody <laughs> run back this clip. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, my God. Somebody it on. that. Run it back Nobody at five goes. minutes. An unexplained dark figure seems to walk past John's friend Chris, even though Chris is completely alone at home. Now freaked. Out. Chris turns on the light and comes back to watch. And see, he's big enough. All right, he's thick enough. Yo, what the hell? Yo, what the hell? Bro, what the f was that? I ain't even smoking. I'm not playing no Yo, J Rob. I'm, bro, I'm smoking on that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Chris, you saw it? Did that see it, bro? Yo, what the f was that? Bro, and then Chris looked both ways like he felt his energy, like, bro. Hey, hey, Chris, I felt like a cold chill, but honestly, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chris, you might want to go out there. I, I ain't even. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm gonna look at it. Like, just, just get out of the house, man. Just get out. Yo, 
I don't know what the hell happened, but apparently, like, apparently, like something just like walked past. Me. Oh my oh, god! god. And then like, he I felt it go by. All of a sudden, these J Vob Junebug they start wilding out. I'm just like, yo, I'm like, yo, 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 like, what the hell is happening? Like, yo, like, oh, a ghost just went past you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, Jay, I'm about to look at the video right right, now. I'm I'm not. I've I've never seen anything like this in my life. Like, I'm not going to lie, fellas. Like, I can't even. I'm so distracted. I'm so distracted right now, bro. Like, like, we're not talking sports now. I cannot believe what I saw. Chris explains that he felt. Oh, I'm chilled. Whatever this is, (gasps) walked behind him and he looked back, but didn't see anything. As more of their friends join the live stream, the whole group decides to watch the clip together. Hey, bro! Oh, come on, you missed it. Oh, no, no, oh, that, oh, like, I saw that. Oh. I felt, bro. I saw that. I saw that. I'm telling you. I saw that. Look, 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 look. I saw that. So, he felt it. Happened here. Did Chris's live webcam accidentally capture a ghostly apparition live on YouTube? Had to have. Seems almost a little embarrassed about it. By the way, it should be mentioned that none of John slash J Rob's live streams have anything to do with the paranormal. So it's not like they're doing it for fame. If you want to take a look for yourself, you can watch this entire live broadcast over on John's YouTube channel, J Rob. One last goodbye. <sighs> Back in September, veterinary student Mary Carmen Flores from Araquipa, Peru, adopted a sweet little Labrador that she named Scott. The two quickly bonded, but only enjoyed a few months together before Scott was tragically found dead in Mary Carmen's home. Mary Carmen was absolutely devastated by the sudden loss of the very healthy dog and wanted an explanation. She suspected that some horrible person might have actually poisoned her dog. So Mary Carmen started searching through her CCTV footage to find answers. But instead, she found something else entirely. Something she was not prepared for. Her dog's ghost. (laughs) It's like sitting there waiting. (laughs) You see its eyes? The CCTV footage shows Mary Carmen at the gate as her family arrives home. Her dog Scott can be seen happily greeting the group. But here is where it gets weird. Scott's already gone. Because this footage was recorded after the dog had passed away. In tears, Mary Carmen explains that she believes Scott's spirit came to say goodbye to her and her family. She shared the video to TikTok in dedication to the sweet dog's memory. To this day, Mary Carmen still has no idea of what caused Scott the Little Labrador's death, but she's grateful to have found the footage of Scott's final greeting and goodbye to the family. Highway Horror uh, it's that was sad. Truck driver William Church is driving down an empty highway just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. He suddenly spots something in front of him that makes his blood run cold. This one that's on the right side. It's like half a torso. William's truck dash cam records the moment when a translucent figure appears to be standing on the right lane of half, the highway. Half the there. The driver can't believe his eyes, but he's not the only one who spots the bizarre figure. Sitting next to him in the passenger seat is his truck driving partner, Erica Lake. She is also shocked by the sudden appearance of this strange apparition on the road. At first, I thought it was a human, and then when you can't really see the face, and the top of the body up. I was kind of. I thought it was a um, hitchhiker. Blood, and then, then we were thinking about maybe it's it's a ghost. I actually twitched the wheel, um, to to miss whoever it was. 
The highway they are on, Arizona State Route 87, is notorious for its many deadly accidents where countless lives have been tragically cut short. Adding to the mystery, the figure they capture appears to have no upper torso It's or like head. watching that movie Suzy so Q. Did the two truckers capture proof of the paranormal? Or just what do you think this is? Or she died and she tried to figure Watch out her. like what happened? Popular former BuzzFeed and Love BuzzFeed. Shannon and Ryan are back with an all new paranormal investigation series called Ghost Files. And Over the problem that I, I can't watch their stuff because the whole thing is copyrighted. So I've watched a couple of them, tried uploading it. Completely all of it was copyrighted, so I couldn't up upload it, unfortunately. But some of their stuff, I've watched all their, their episodes, and they're so good. So I'll definitely go over there. One is a, a skeptic, one is a believer, and they kind of out try each other. It's it's super good, so go take a look at it. We're on their very own YouTube channel, <laughs> Watcher. Now, for those of you who don't know the series, Shane is a diehard skeptic who does not believe in ghosts at all. But Ryan, on the other hand, does believe in the supernatural. He does. He often <laughs> finds himself scared senseless on these paranormal investigations. All right, apparently this is where a recurring ghost is seen. They're one of the reasons why I got into YouTube. Uh, Nuke's one of them. Um, these guys are, Daz Games are, is. Uh, I just love the way these guys are. I love his facial expressions. I love the other guy too as well. So I would definitely go watch him if you have a, if you have a chance. Oh, ah, God. What are you? Cut. Hey, man. Go. Oh, my gosh. Piece of shame. My mic went out, <laughs> and then I was looking for you. He's crouching in here like some kind of cave creature. And then I, all I did was I went. I was just oh, yeah. Coming, so you, you say hello to you. You're looking for me while grunting like a zombie. Yeah. <gasps> so this time, the two friends set out to investigate the allegedly <laughs> haunted Waverly Hills Sanitarium I wanna, in Louisville. I want to go here so bad. It's like one of the places that I watched on Ghost Hunters. And this place is like one of my go-to Stanley Hotel, the, the, uh, what was it? The Alexander Lighthouse, St. Augustine Lighthouse, um, the Lizzie Borden Axe Murder House, the Villisca Axe Murder House, Sally's House. There's just a ton of places I want to go and this is one of them. So hopefully one day, fingers crossed. Well, Kentucky. The massive hospital was built in 1910 to treat patients suffering from tuberculosis. Shockingly, it is estimated that around 63,000 people Whoa. lost their lives inside the sanatorium I it was walls. 20. So it's no wonder that Waverly Hills is said to be one of the most haunted buildings in America. So much And is a site there. where many visitors claim to have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Ryan and Shane make it to the second floor of the Waverly Hills Sanatorium when they capture something uh, truly bizarre. Let's see. Ooh. Was that a fart? No, that was a noise. That was a fart. No, that came from down there. Are you kidding me? That was no, not a fart? That came from down there. Because I, I'm surprised you didn't react to that Because I thought you farted. No. Maybe that's what the jack-o'-lantern face was. Yeah, was that you farting? It was. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> At least they're not trying to... Of course, some sounds have more to do with bad dietary choices than the paranormal. But no worries, because things are about to get weird. Yes. In the past, many visitors and paranormal investigators have reported hearing creepy, unexplained humming in the morgue of the Waverly Hills Sanatorium. When Shane and Ryan explore the area, this happens. It can't be hard to get a hum. Ghost guy, I mean, come on, just a hum, you don't even have to move your lips around, just give it a <laughs> If you could hum a tune, can you hum Yankee Doodle Dandy for us, please? I mean, that's probably the one song they knew back then. <laughs> Take it away! Are you hearing that? Yeah, a little bit. Are you hearing that? The hair on the back of my <sighs> neck is standing up. My hair is I mean, standing up on my... A, a car outside somewhere. Yeah, okay. Come on, it's Shane. Like a, sort of a low tone somewhere in the building. <laughs> 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 
That's a hum, man. <laughs> I certainly heard something there. I mean, do I think it's a ghost? No. Do you? Yes. Holy, yeah, I'd say... I'm freaking I'm out, man! Ghosts, I'd be a little unnerved right now. I'd probably get the little shaky knees. I, uh, my, my back is tingling. Could, could you, whoever was humming, could you hum again, please? Okay, well, I'm really glad we didn't hear anything on that one. Tell you what. Why don't we move to the yeah, spirit? To the, there was another. What, really? Yeah. Tell you what. I swear to God, in between you talking there. I didn't hear it. Thank God, I didn't hear it. <sighs> Something seems to react to the investigator's request and hums not once, but twice. Like four times. Shane and Ryan are put a little on the edge from what they just experienced. My hair is and standing day, up. They still have no explanation for the creepy sounds. Now, for the final Hard part of their investigation, the guys decide that they will each explore the entire sanatorium, one at a time and all alone. Oh boy. When Shane does his walkthrough investigation of the hospital, he just kind of cracks jokes and trash talks the alleged spirits haunting the sanatorium. He's never bothered. Y'all want to play a game you little punk i actually have always long been curious if the reason why shane never gets anything in his solo investigations is because uh, he's an enormous d-bag i love kids <laughs> i love to play games what i need you to do is roll your ball to me where's my tanning to me and yeah it is, he's just an enormous d-bag it's just confirmed <laughs> if you don't show yourself i'm going to make you show yourself to me but Something very strange also happens. When Shane finally makes his way back to Ryan and the rest of the team, he admits that at some point, he believed he might not have been alone. Oh yeah, was it really scary down there? And for him? I actually hear some stuff. For a minute there, I thought you were up there, uh, like trying to prank me. So I didn't actually react to it in the moment, but it sounded like a person walking around upstairs. But I guess not. Are you serious? Did that actually happen upstairs? Because if that didn't happen, that's your best lie you've ever come up with. No, it actually happened. It sounded like there was a person upstairs. It turns out Shane wasn't lying. Uh, do you want to play? Y'all want to play a f***ing game? Did you see it? No. Watch again slower. Do you want to play? Oh! There was a couple times Okay, now my arm is chilled. Holy crap. Sick. A creepy translucent figure can be seen <laughs> standing like, behind yes. Shane in a doorway. Now, <sighs> Shane doesn't see the apparition, but he does admit that he heard some strange noises Sick. at the exact same moment. So could this be the spirit of a former patient oh, of the no. sanatorium? As always, I leave it up to you Comment to below. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos of Shane and Ryan exploring haunted places over on the YouTube channel, Watcher. I'm gonna have to go watch. This next creepy video was uploaded to TikTok by Rose. I know them from BuzzFeed Unsolved, so I'm gonna go watch Watcher tonight because I'm gonna have nothing to do tonight besides play video games, but I'm gonna go watch it, so you guys should too. Rosie B from Michigan. Hi Michigan, I mean person from Michigan. shows Rosie's daughter strolling through the kitchen when the toddler seems to have a very odd and chilling encounter. Listen to your kids. Oh, this one. I don't know how you could fake this. How do you fake that? You don't. At first, the girl appears to be talking to someone that we can't see, when suddenly something seems to try to yank a plastic container of snacks right out of her hand. Whatever it is then seems to go after her toy box. If not, the toddler puts up a fight and wins and then just walks away. This girl deserves an Emmy. angry at whoever or whatever and an Oscar. grabbing at her things. 
Later, when Rosie asks her daughter about what happened, the little girl says that a young boy and girl were trying to take away her toys. But looking at the video, there's just no one there. At least no one that we can see. So is the little girl fighting over toys with the ghosts of two children? Let me know what you think. Tunnel Vision. Tunnel Vision. The video was sent into popular Japanese ghost hunting team, Clip Store, by a man who claims that the footage was recorded by his now deceased older brother. The man says that his brother was a big fan of the paranormal and often oh. spent his free time exploring well-known ghost spots in Japan. So one There's day his brother them. decides to film an allegedly haunted tunnel somewhere in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. How do you say that? He has that? an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. Oh no. Again, why can't you go watch some Netflix or Disney Plus? No, let's go down a creepy... Oh, no. I'm getting the jeebies. That's gross. I don't remember this one. This is why we rewatch these, because sometimes you forget about some of these. Thought, did you? Did you see it? Yes. After the man hears a creepy, unexplained voice coming from right behind him, he quickly spins around to see an ominous dark figure standing right in front of him. Oh. A shadowy shape that had not been there only seconds before. It's like watching. Absolutely terrified, the man makes a run for it. But the story gets even weirder. Oh no. Because a few weeks later, the man who recorded this video passed away in a freak accident. This horrifying video was found on the man's phone. It was the last video that he recorded before his death. So the Clip Store team tracks down the location, but they don't really find anything unusual during their investigation. So could it be that the man accidentally recorded real paranormal phenomena? And could this have somehow led to him losing his life in such a tragic way? Could it be like a grudge or something? A haunted hello. Christine Wright from the paranormal investigation team CVS Paranormal sets out all alone to explore the so-called, quote, pirate's graveyard in Portland, England. The England. scenic cemetery was built way back in 1475 and has gotten its odd nickname from the many gravestones that feature carvings of skulls and crossbones. Christine finds herself completely alone when suddenly something happens that she still can't explain to this day. Um, completely out of the way, so nobody... Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. I heard a hello. Oh. Hello? I heard it like, a hello, excuse me. Sure, I saw somebody shouted hello then. Or said yeah, hello. I did too. Christine is all alone when she hears something behind her. And as she turns, she hears a woman nearby clearly say hello. Um, completely out of the way, so nobody. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello. But I pushed her. Oh, hello. Oh. A bit shocked, she immediately answers back, hello. But there's no one there. In fact, there's not even anyone else in the entire area that she's exploring. So could it be that the pirate's graveyard in Portland, England is haunted by the ghosts of those who are laid to rest there? Let me know. Let's go! It yeah. looks back. I don't want Over it to. Over on the channel, RX Files explore Indonesian paranormal investigator Chu does a live solo investigation of the infamously haunted Taiyu Hospital on the Indonesian island of Java. Taiyu Hospital was built way back in 1933, and over its 80-year history, it began to develop a very bizarre It reputation. looks creepy during the day. Many patients who were treated at Taiyu Hospital claimed to see the ghostly figure of an old nurse roaming its hallways. They also said that they had seen the terrifying apparitions of patients who had passed away inside the old hospital. And some even claimed to experience horrible hallucinations like bloody footprints running up the walls 
that no one else could see. Up the walls? The hospital closed its doors in 2015 and has been left abandoned ever since. Paranormal investigator Chu is completely alone with nothing but a flashlight and his phone as he broadcasts his investigation oh. to his streaming audience. That look creepy as Chu there. roams the hospital grounds, he starts to hear a few strange sounds here and there, but it doesn't seem to bother him. But Bothers me. Chu begins to ask that the alleged spirits that haunt the hospital let him know that they are there. Chilled. And this is when things start to get creepy. Udah, suara-suara saja. Tunjukkan semua ejakulasi kalau memang kalian ada di sini. Lingkau. I'm done. Nope, I'll be out. You couldn't pay me to stay there anymore. Time to go. Time to run. A hospital stretcher moves by itself, frightening Chu so much that he begins to shake uncontrollably. I would be. But things are about to get much worse. Weirder? Chu decides that he's had enough of the outdoors and heads inside to explore the hospital's halls and rooms. Hell no. But he starts to hear the disturbing sound of a bell ringing from somewhere inside the building. When he looks for the source, something happens that shocks him to his core. What? Is that that? Is it right there? Oh, oh, oh. The, the, the bell was floating, man. The exit door slams shut right behind him and an ominous voice can be heard. But most terrifying of all, something seems to quickly peek out at Chu from inside one of the hospital rooms. Chu is terrified and quickly heads for another Ooh. section of the hospital. But as Chu continues to explore, it follows him. Things just seem to get worse and worse. Oh, shit, man. Okay. Whew. It scared me so much. I lost my, my, my sign here. Oh my gosh, man. I can't even. I am so bad. <laughs> what is that? <sighs> Bro, I would have never run at it. Oh. Dude, I'm going to pee my pants. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> oh, moment of silence for my bowel movements. Oh, so fast. Chu jumps when he suddenly sees what appears to be the eerie apparition of a girl standing just inside an empty storage room. Gathering all of his courage, he charges toward the creepy figure. Never would have done that. Disappears into thin air. Hell no. Chu is now seriously freaked out and just wants to leave. But his live audience has other ideas. He gets bombarded with requests in his live chat to go back inside the hospital just one more time Get out and of explore here. some of the abandoned rooms. Hell As you to might the no. Guess, it did not go well. No. 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 I forgot about this. I think it turns around. <laughs> I forgot it went like this. I thought it went like this. How do you... How do you do that? <laughs> Chu freezes when he spots a woman in what looks like a hospital gown sitting on a bed inside one of the hospital rooms. She doesn't move, but her she head does. seems to drop backwards to look at Chu as if it's not attached to her body. I can't do it. 
And with that, she <laughs> has had enough. Oh. He ends his live stream and just gets out of there. So what do you think is going on here? Could the hospital really- Diablo! Either way, real or not, whatever- Yeah, exactly. That is, is absolutely terrifying. terrifying. We're here for the scares, but we don't care and if it's real or fake. To those who- Can be seen sliding across the rest. No, no, you wouldn't even get a two week notice for me. I'm like, take this, take this. I'm out. I probably wouldn't even take off the apron. I probably just run, done, say I quit. I'm off. Go. Ah. By itself. But most horrifying of all, some kind of invisible force violently grabs the waitress by her hair and pulls her backwards out of frame. Now, without a source, we don't know what happened next. She but quit. I'm imagining lots of screaming quit. and running. And she quit, guaranteed. Buck's Grave Road. Friends David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals are driving down a creepy back road called Buck's Grave Road in Carlisle, South Carolina. David and Dell say that when they were kids, they witnessed some very strange things out on Buck's Grave Road, such as odd, unexplainable lights and orbs. So, while driving down the narrow dirt road, shooting some B-roll for their video in the car, they experienced something absolutely unnerving. I think that's enough B-roll then. Yeah. You don't want to waste up all the, all the battery already. The camera's battery's gonna get my ass in. So yeah, they see this happen, and then they go over there, they stop. They don't film. What the f***? This is like hills have eyes kind of crap, man. Or the oh, the wax house where they where they kill you and then they put you in a wax thing. Woods. Where where is the headlamp at? Go. The headlamp should be right there. Like he didn't like he stopped. Did he turn off the light? Can you see in there? No, I can't see. I'm zoomed in. I can't really see. Zoom in, don't zoom in, don't zoom in. It ain't gonna help, it ain't gonna help. <sighs> what the f What you gonna what the f are you doing? The content play. <laughs> what the f are you talking about? The content play. This is where he stands up and. Dad, what the hell are you doing? It's Hello? like, you not watch movies, man? I already tried that. He don't want none. Oh, this is where he gets decapitated. Dumb Eaten by some big gigantic spider, Wendigo thing. Sasquatch just beats his okay, butt. Okay, come on. This is some dumb. Sh this ain't even what we're supposed to be here for. Dude, I couldn't hear or see anything out there. It's so pitch black. Damn. To this day, David and Dell say that they have no idea who or what the creepy stranger could have been. And paranormal day, or not, they claim that they have never been so scared in all their life. I'm so, did they encounter some creep in the remote woods? Or is it all? Just an elaborate hoax. You decide. You can watch this entire video and many more spooky moments over on their YouTube channel, Signs and Signals.
I'm the Ouija subscribed. board. Popular paranormal live streamer Ricky Velasquez and his wife Liz travel to an allegedly haunted house somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. Now apparently the story of this place is truly dark and disturbing because <laughs> Ricky will only mention that the house was once home to an extremely large family named Hernandez. Apparently some tragic and unspeakable event occurred at the Hernandez home and most of the family, including many women and children, lost their lives. This is what I now, think it is. Whatever did happen, apparently it was so horrific that many people still leave candles at the house to pay their respects to this day. No Diablo. So after exploring the downstairs, Ricky and Liz head up to the second floor. And that's when they begin to experience something that makes their blood run cold. Ricky is broadcasting their exploration live on YouTube. And as he reads comments from his live stream audience, this happens. Is this the same one? There's a crucifix on the wall. Hola. Como estas? Bien. No, That's gonna be a. That's gonna be a no for me. The couple hears very strange sounds from somewhere on the top floor. Banging, moaning, and even what sounds like the voice of a young child. No, man, man. So now, in an attempt to make contact with the dead, Ricky and Liz decide to use a Ouija board. Oh, no, you didn't. As you might have guessed, it did not go well. Bad idea. During the Ouija board session, the couple continues to hear disturbing sounds coming from the house. Not happening. Then something happens that absolutely scares the shit out of them. ¿Estás aquí con nosotros? ¡Ay, mata, man! ¡Muérete de aquí! ¡Muérete! I forgot about that one. Nope, we're done. While using the Ouija board, Liz asks, Are you here with us? Yes. The terrifying little voice replies, Yes. Yes. Ricky believes that he hears the voice coming from right behind him. So he looks through a clothing rack that is nearby and sees the horrifying, deathly pale face of a woman. The couple has had enough and they just run out of there as fast as they can. Now, keep in mind that all of this was broadcast live on YouTube. So whether it's real or not, it would have been much harder to fake. Nope, nope, but nope, nope, nope. whether it is real or fake, the footage is definitely very judge. creepy. But if you want to take a look at the video for yourself, you can watch this entire exploration over on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Ricky Velasquez. You really can't tell if it's like so after looking at you. Request and eight months later, new Stop 5 merch is back. Yeah. We've got, we've got hoodies, we've got coffee mugs, we've got stuff for your dog, we've got stuff Go get for your something. cat. <gasps> we've got stuff you probably never even wanted to begin with, but nevertheless, Go get it. we've got it. So be sure to check out the all new merch store at nukestop5.com. Go do it. <sighs> The abandoned arcade. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a source for this next video. But from what I have gathered, the footage was captured by security cameras at an abandoned Pachinko arcade in Nogano, Japan. It is said that the ghost of a young girl is often seen inside this abandoned arcade. The CCTV footage seems to show a policeman investigating after an alarm in the abandoned arcade was set off by something. What happens next? is downright chilling. Why? Isn't it behind him? What is that? 
It's a girl. So are these like the old, the slot machines that are at this place? Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me. What looks like the figure of a young girl can be seen following the policeman, but he doesn't see or hear anything. When the policeman turns to leave, the girl can be seen suddenly crouching nearby. And now, because no. there's no source, we'll probably just never know. never know what happened. So, the footage remains unexplained. A mystery. Get me out of here. Yes, that's what I'd like to do. friends are having a great time in Torreon, Mexico, when they decide to go on a very popular tourist attraction, the Cristo de la Noas cable car ride. The cable car provides beautiful scenery of the city as it transports tourists up the mountain and through the streets of Torreon. With such a spectacular bird's eye view of the city, the group of friends can't help but take a video to capture the moment. But what happens on this particular ride is very disturbing. <laughs> What sounds like the voice of a little girl can be heard screaming in terror, and the group has no idea where the voice is coming from. Now, after the video was shared on Facebook, many shocked viewers believe they hear the girl say, quote, get me out of here. I feel alone. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. So if you do, please let me know what you think the girl is saying down in the comments. Did the group accidentally capture a paranormal event on camera? You decide. Who knows? <laughs> bearer of bad news. Popular urban explorers Matt and Eddie from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers are back with another exploration at an abandoned farmhouse in Yorkshire, England. This time they bring along their third team member, a cute little dog named Bear. I remember this he one. With a GoPro camera and a flashlight and he so starts cute. to roam around the dark abandoned house. But unlike any of their previous explorations, Bear immediately begins to act very strange. The little dog sniffs around, running from room to room as if he's trying to find something. He finds somebody underneath the bed, I, know, I, think. I think. I think I know what you, you put him inside. What is he doing? Oh, well, well, but you rude. He's had a proper mad one tonight. Bear, go find it. Go find it. Find it. Where is he? There's something weird about this place. I feel like we've just had the worst start to a video ever. Because bears just all over the place, and I don't know what you're doing, snorting up. <laughs> got dust up his smells. Oh, and um, notice cupboards. To be fair, what we got in here? We've got not very much in the bottom. Is there anything in the? Well, ah. Do you like a whistle? Where's that go? <laughs> Where's bear? Bear? Bear. My concern is that. Oh, he's upstairs. Bear? 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 He's coming. You can hear him. Oh, he's coming now. That worried me. I thought he'd hurt himself or something or. I don't whimper. Yeah. You little fool. There's something going on with you today. Unless he's caught something. As the guys continue to explore the downstairs of the farmhouse, Little Bear sneaks away again to take another look upstairs. And there's Matt somebody and underneath. Andy are sorting through a pile of old books when something happens that is very unsettling. Anyway, I want to have a quick look on this bed, see if I can find anything else. Right, boy. He sees something. Huh? What's wrong with you? Just started barking randomly. Hey. You found a rabbit? You found some rabbits? So cute. What are you doing? What is he? 
What you found? I wonder if there's someone outside. The little dog bear barks and then comes charging back down the stairs. Wondering what caused the dog's strange reaction, the Finders Beepers team decides to head upstairs to check the second floor of the farmhouse. They look into one of the upstairs bedrooms, and that's when things take a terrifying turn. What year is that? What even is it? Like, is it out of a bathroom or something? Like an old bathroom cabinet. That's what yeah. the USB is. And then that's, <laughs> how's that got a lock on it there for a bathroom cabinet? That makes no sense at all. Hey, you're just causing so much bother. What the f Somebody was in that house. Someone has just, let me just run down those stairs. and Andy suddenly hear someone running down the stairs. They quickly go over and take a look down the staircase, but there's Nobody's no there. one there. Now the guys head back downstairs, and after a careful search, Ooh. they don't find anyone in the house. So they decide to check the footage on Bear's GoPro camera, and what they find is truly chilling. Somebody was under... That's when you hear him bark. Huh? What's wrong with you? Just started barking randomly. What's wrong? We found a rabbit. We found some rabbits. In the footage, the poor little doggo jumps back in fear as he finds someone hiding underneath the bed. But who was it? He barks and quickly runs back downstairs to Matt and Andy. The guys go back up to check the bedroom. I'm in my pants now. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely in my pants. But yeah, we'd come up here and whoever it was, from what I can see, I don't even go downstairs ever again. I'm living up here now. Yeah, it's here, look. Excuse me. They've been under there. Yep. Whoever it was was under that bed. Oh, yeah, why? This is horrible, Andy. Oh. I can deal with spooky, ghosty things, but real people. People are just. Real people can be scarier. Been under a bed in an abandoned house. There's something not right in first so place. Out. What the thing is, right? If Bear hadn't alerted us to it, what would happen when we came upstairs? God knows. That's that's the thing that worries me. Somebody on the bed has just jumped out and grabbed me. Yeah, it's grabbed your legs from under bed. It's like every child's nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I'd, I, I wouldn't have been here. I would have been booting him in the head. There'd have been an Andrew-shaped hole in the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Forget it. Now, Bear is so cute, though. Who this creepy guy was who was hiding under the bed. Was he an innocent squatter, or did he have bad intentions? But again, this is exactly the reason that I always say people, people are, are way scarier, scarier than anything paranormal. That is true. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Binders Beepers History Seekers. The end. I the watch their stuff. Comedy. I love their stuff. Now you might remember a little while I back. I do remember the these guys. The family who claimed that their apartment was haunted by a poltergeist. They moved and it came and it followed them. It's coming from the cupboard. Could you please drop? Somebody put a, somebody put a curse on them. Apparently the, the maid's keeper beforehand. Well, as an update to this story, the father Zark says that he has decided to end the channel because now his family has finally moved to a new home. But Zark them. posted one final video from their old apartment that might be their creepiest video yet. Skinwalker kid. Zark hears a child crying in their living room and thinks that it's his son. But just as he enters the room, he sees a semi transparent child run toward the hall. In the dark, Zark can't tell that something just doesn't quite look right, and he runs after the child, thinking that it's his own son. But just then, his wife yells to him from the other room to say that their son is Good. still safe in bed, snug under the covers, and not crying at all. So who is so it? has no idea who or what this is. It's a ghosty! Cut back to current day, and Zark says that the channel is now over. But was the Zark scary haunting channel for real? Or was it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You the abandoned graveyard. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Ooh, I love Midwest Ghost Hunter. Hunter is back on another investigation. This time at the allegedly haunted Vicksburg Cemetery in Renville County, Minnesota. That's not the far from me. The is abandoned, overgrown, and hidden away deep in the Minnesota woods. In the 1870s, the cemetery was part of the thriving town of Vicksburg. But the village is now nothing more than a ghost town. Perhaps quite literally. You see... Visitors to the cemetery have reported seeing and hearing supernatural activity, and locals warn tourists to stay away from the graveyard at night. Midwest Ghost Hunter, aka Ian, soon finds out why. All right, entering the cemetery. All right, I'm coming over to visit. I hope you don't mind. Tombstone broken. This whole grave is in shambles. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. What happened? Is it vandalized? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, I just heard you. Ian finds a headstone that seems to have been smashed to pieces. And when he asks whether the headstone has been vandalized, a quiet little voice seems to whisper, Yeah. The investigator is shocked by what he just heard. He believes that the spirit he is talking to might be associated with the smashed headstone. So he tries again. If you're still here, could you tell me your name? Because unfortunately there's, there's really no way for me to tell. I really want, don't want to dig around your grave shambles because I don't want to damage it any further. Something's going off. You don't have to be shy, ma'am. 
As I said, I'm just here to visit. I'm here with nothing but respect. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. But that's okay. It's worth it. If I could just hear your voice one more time. Go. Come here? Is that what it said? Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm here or I come here? I heard you once again. Camera died. Wow, you just drained my battery too. Dang, dude. Ian asked to hear the spirit's voice one more time, and this time a soft voice seems to answer, it's lonely here. That's what it said. Ian decides to explore more of the cemetery, and when he reaches another gravestone, something happens that he just can't explain. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? Suddenly, the fence begins rattling by itself without reason. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. That sounded like the fence. Yeah, let's leave the fence alone and go away. Did you just rattle this fence? What's your name? Here, really? I can try to read your grave. What does that say? Nanny? Is your name Nanny? Nana? <gasps> Whoa. Okay. I take that as a yes. Who passed away at age seven. Fuck, oh, kid. After the fence yeah. surrounding two gravestones rattles on its own and the voice of a little girl seems to respond, Ian decides to take some pictures. What happens next is absolutely unnerving. Pose for the photo. Could you smile? I don't see anything yet. All right, I'm gonna count to three, okay? And I want you to pose for this photo. One, two, three. Jeez. If you look at this photo closely, oh. there appears to be two misty little girls staring into the camera from the gravesite. They both appear to be in their adolescence, have long hair and dark beady eyes. In the photo taken afterwards, they are completely gone. Two misty apparitions that look like little girls appear in one of Ian's pictures, sitting right next to what he believes is their own gravestone. So is old abandoned Vicksburg Cemetery truly haunted? Let me know I what think you so. think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Unwanted guest. They're usually in this next unwanted. Video, two police officers are alerted by an Airbnb homeowner who suspects someone has broken into her house. How's it going? Oh, this is the one where it's a. The it's a BRB. I went for a while to go shopping, and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke it. The homeowner says the house should be empty, but is worried that an intruder might be inside. The two officers make their way into the house as their body cameras record the entire incident. Which are you don't you can't edit beforehand police if anyone's here make yourself known one of the officers is checking out the downstairs bedroom and this is when things start <laughs> to get weird excuse me guys It's where you see the door shut. Anyone inside? Oh. 
A loud bang can be heard, and at the same time, strange interference comes through the radio. The officer now heads upstairs, and his body cam starts to experience strange video glitches. What happens next is downright chilling. The door shuts. Police, anyone inside, make yourself known. He's like, yeah, I swept upstairs for good. There's the other door. He's like, yeah, I'm done. Not happening. Upstairs, kind of clear. I hate the sound of running. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> now, understandably, this police officer is done with this house. Two doors open on their own without explanation, and when the officer is about to go downstairs, the loud sound of charging footsteps or stomping can be heard right behind him. He swings around, but again, no one there. This footage was later released as the officer claimed to have experienced paranormal activity while inside the house. So just what do you think is going on here? Paranormal. Is this Airbnb haunted? Let me know down in the comments. The Shadowy Shepherd. This next creepy video was captured by Twitter user Eldar Glorfindel. Eldar says that he and his friends were about to head home after spending a day at the beach in the city of Niteroi, Brazil. They spot a lone goat trotting down the street. So Eldar decides to take a quick video of the goat to share with his friends on social media. Kind of as a joke but his friends are shocked when they spot something that Eldar did not see. It looks like the sheep that's in, um... Oh! figure can be seen watching Eldar and his Jurassic friends Park. from the shadows. Eldar's baffled and swears that he and his friends didn't see anyone standing there at the time. But whoever or whatever it is, the goat does seem to take notice. It's seen right so at it. what do you it. think is going on here? Let me know down in the comments. Run. Japanese paranormal okay. investigator Takuchi from the YouTube channel Takuchi Camera travels to the abandoned Shiriwa village in Japan. This is another one that's the scary. The village is now a ghost town. It has been completely abandoned for over 28 years. Centuries old graves of former residents can be found hidden away between the decaying homes. Locals like to say that these days, the only residents of Shiriwa village are the dead. In the dark of night, Takuji begins to hear unnerving sounds coming from all around him as he explores. He starts to get a little freaked out and decides to take out his thermal camera to get a better look at what could be hiding in the dark. <laughs> what he sees shocks him to his, his core. core. 
周りからバチバチ音聞こえるから<笑>気づかれてないはずやけどよしえほらほらほらほらほらほらはなんか来てるなんか来てるちょっと待ってちょっと待ってなんかおるなんかおる right there. ちょっと待ってほらなんかおるなんかおるマジほらマジマジマジマジマジマジマジほらなんかおるなんかおるなんかおるなんかおるなんかおるってほらちょっと待ってえ近づいてみようかまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまだあるまよし、取れた、取れた、ちょっと待って、取れた、いけた、取れたか、取れたか。I don't think I would have ran at the camera though. Just saying. あれ、ちょっと待って、何も映ってない。え、せろ、せろせろ。明らかにおる。マジでおるマジでおるマジでおるマジでおるマジでおる何してんの何してんのあどういうこと何してんのマジでおるなんかなんかおるんよあおちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待って The thermal camera captures a heat pattern that resembles a human shape. But when Takuchi looks around with his own naked eye, he can't see anyone. Suddenly, the figure charges toward Takuchi, and in a panic, the investigator runs for his life. And with this, Takuchi has had enough and just leaves. So, could this be the angry spirit of a villager who passed away in the old abandoned Shiriwa village? Let me know what, what do you, you think. think? Dashing out of the woods. Oh, I thought he was going to say dashing Next through the snow. Next Martin and his wife are out <laughs> delivering food for DoorDash, driving through a wooded area near Chesapeake, Virginia. Suddenly, they spot something truly disturbing. What? Oh, what was that? I don't know. See, like, what the f going through <laughs> there? Is it not open? I don't know what the f was. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna be, you know. I'm done. Now I thought it was like a reflection. Of it's, it was not a reflection. It was my water to reflect off of. I don't know what the f it was. <laughs> it was not a deer? No, it was in a f***ing deer. I don't know what a deer looks like. <laughs> was that a deer? Nah. I don't know what the f that was. I'm getting out of here. Did you see it? I did. The strange figure can be seen running out of the woods at a super fast speed, and then it disappears into the darkness on the other side of the road. Is there a Wendigo? No, you certainly can't blame him, but Martin doesn't want any <coughs> part of this. He jams his foot down on the gas and just gets out of there while his girlfriend kind of giggles at him a little bit. She's like, I don't care. Got the best view of this figure, and he says that something on two legs just jumped from the trees and ran right across the road. Martin says that whatever it was looked humanoid, but he has no clue. It's like a Sasquatch. What been. So, what do you think Martin and his wife captured on their dash cam? Let me know down in the comments. Do it now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have uh, subscribe, do it now, and then also turn on all notifications. It's so free to do. Come on, guys. You can also follow me on the socials and just say uh, hi there, Nuke. Hi, anyway, Nuke. Hopefully, I will see you next video. We hope so. So that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this maximum terror, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, comment, like, and share. 
Let me know if you've used your extra pair of pants. If you didn't, if you let, did it with the lights on, lights off, that kind of sounded dirty. But make sure you guys do all the above. And then hopefully you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Please be safe. Take care. Keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. So that being said, keep nerding on and peace.